let's say you want to bring in a car so the road is the road is uh, by this side and let's say we want a cut uh, a drive through yeah and then we have this drive through coming from the get You can make it wavy and stuff like that. Just I don't have time for that right now. Um, so what I would do is um, click on the mesh and then click on that so that and it kind of picks up this profile. Yeah. And um, I'm going to delete it. So I cancel this, look for that negative, and go deleting it. And just keep clicking it. If you already, you can plan for it ahead so that you don't have to go through that, so that you can click it here. Yeah. So after you finish deleting it, um, you can choose a mesh and just choose um, the color of mesh I've chosen ivory black and so right now we're starting at uh, at this height uh, that was negative 4,000 and so I'm gonna start working from there um, negative 4,000 so that we can build up from there or you can start working from here from this height Actually, it may be better to start from this height. Um, this was a height of uh, negative 1,000. So actually, let's walk from negative 1,000 and then go down to the driveway. And so with that, I'm just going to start clicking from here. Um, if the building is not so big like it's a very big plot of land you can choose to do this all in 3d like you can choose to drag down everything in 3d but if it's very big then it's it's better to work with um, the things you already have yeah so this is the height we are starting with and If I click that, then I'm going about, it was starting at negative 1,000 and go to negative 4,000. So I'll go to negative 3,000. Let me just be sure my math is on point. Yes. And um, so you'll have a drive through going to Flatland. Um, another thing you can do is um, if you want these to match then you you'd have to lower your whole parking area and, and try to work with the land here which we can do um, because at this point if you want these points to match at this point it's negative two one four one so I'm going to copy that and then give it to this and to No, sorry. Um, this is minus one. Remember, you're working with a height of negative 1,000. So whatever you pick, copy that. You just remove a 1,000. Remove 1,000 here. Let's see how that comes out. Yep. Then at this point, we have negative 1725. I'm going to copy that, bring it here, and remove a 1000. So it has kind of followed the, the profile of the land, but you have to be careful because 
right now your parking lot is not flat so what I will do actually at this point I can choose where I can either say let's um, like maybe this will be drive through and then I remove this part and just add more of the mesh and maybe just add another point so the flat line kind of starts at a at a better angle like there and so then I'll copy this yeah so that the land is flatter on, on that side and things like that and then work with the, the mesh to kind of match yeah so that's how you draw your drive through um, you really have to keep uh, um, close eye on um, your dimensions and your heights so you choose which is your starting point so for the mesh my starting point was zero but for my um, drive through my starting point was negative 1000 so everything I did in relation to this I had to subtract 1000 from it you can start from zero in case you don't want to get confused you can start from zero like I did with the mesh and then work with that Again, if the building is not so big, you can work with your eye. But but you have to be careful because if this thing has to get built, this is this that, that's a good option for architecture students. You just you know, yeah yeah. But if these things won't get built, then you need to know your levels. It's very important because then you go on land and things will be different, especially with a surveyor. Okay.